When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. One final act. Glad you chose a tall building. Nice way to do it. Do it? Do, do what? Yes, of course. My suicide. Genius detective proved to be a fraud. I read it in the paper, so it must be true. I love newspapers. Fairy tales. No, Allah, man, it's nifs. Just you know why. Just you know why. Why you ask? Why you ask? We'll buy and buy. You have blood on your hands, you the pin dragon. Blood that will never wash off. May I remind you that you're speaking to your king? May I remind you that a king is wise and just? You are neither. You rule only with the sword. You know nothing of what it means to be king. The fate of Camelot rests in my hands. It's my responsibility to protect the people of this land from its enemies. Then the kingdom is doomed. For one by one you make enemies of us all. You speak treason, Morgana. Only a madman hears the truth as treason. Take care, child, or I'll have you restrained. You just try. <laughs> Let me ask you a question about, yes. about uh, uh, Donald Trump, if I may. Uh -huh. uh, Donald Trump, great president or greatest president? What, what, would, you, what would you say? Uh-huh. I need to talk to you. You know that girl, Katie? Yeah, she's cool. I invited her tonight. Well, be careful, because she has a huge crush on you. Really? How do you know? Because she told me. She tells everybody. It's kind of cute, actually. She's like a little girl. She, like, writes all over her notebook, Mrs. Aaron Samuels. And she made this T-shirt that says, I heart Aaron, and she wears it under all her clothes. Oh, come on. Well, who can blame her? I mean, you're gorgeous. And okay, look, I'm not saying she's a stalker, but she saved this Kleenex you used, and she said she's gonna do some kind of African voodoo with it to make you like her. What? I know you're an army doctor and you've been invalided home from Afghanistan. I know you've got a brother who's worried about you, but you won't go to him for help because you don't approve of him, possibly because he's an alcoholic, more likely because he recently walked out on his wife. And I know that your therapist thinks you're limp psychosomatic, quite correctly, I'm afraid. You said I had a therapist. You've got a psychosomatic limp, of course you've got a therapist. Oh, come on, Mom's not talking now, you're being cagey. Somebody needs to tell Pippi something. V and I have plans Saturday at 8, and it's definitely a date night. Don't make me spill it out for you. Yeah, you guys have plans all the time. Are you sure it's a date? It's not like this is your first big hang. Hmm, that's true. And this isn't any woman we're talking about, so are you ordering in, or are you making dinner? Yeah, is this a movie night, or is this like a slow combo over candlelight stitch? We actually didn't discuss details. Trust me, get more intel. I mean, you do not want to misread those signals. OK, I'm not taking dating advice from a guy who thinks it's out of sleep, so. Is that true? I told you that in confidence. Great. Roomie? Oh, yeah, I guess we are roommates now. Yeah. Well, now that you bring it up, uh, our fridge is broken. We have to get a new one. Uh, I checked around, and your half is $400. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm not paying for half of that. I'm only staying here until my apartment gets fixed. Look, Rich, my parents bought this fridge just after I was born. Okay? <laughs> now, 
I have never had a problem with it. Then you show up and it breaks. Thoughts dwell on your mother. I miss her. Mm, afraid to lose her, I think. Mm? What has that got to do with anything? Everything. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Dreams came true all over the place. That guy went on to become the most famous concert pianist in the world, if you can believe it. And this guy, well, he eventually found true love. As for this guy, well, I assume he's happy. He's never told me otherwise. Oh! This is so unfair! <laughs> unfair? You were never there for me! This whole marriage is what you want! Do you ever bother to ask what I want? No! You walk around telling me what to do, what not to do, trying to make me be like you? Well, I'm not going to be like you! Oh, you're acting like a child. And you're a beast! That's what you are! I know this giant check is very important to everyone here, but what's even more important is the truth. <laughs> because after all, education is the search for truth. No, no it isn't. Don't listen to her. She's out of her mind. And the truth is, we don't deserve this grant, and I don't deserve your applause. I cheated on that test. <gasps> Wait! How dare you condemn this girl? Who among you can honestly say you've never cheated? On your wives? Or your husbands? What she just did took courage. And where I come from, Canada, we reward courage. So I hereby decree that you keep the grant. And let's give this brave girl the ovation she deserves! I make no apology. It would be a terrible thing. If poor old Mr. Mosley's son were killed, wouldn't it, Mosley? I'm sure it would, but... And then I heard William's father would be left on his own if anything happened to the boy. And what would become of Carson if the last of his staff were to go? That's not the point. Do you want Mosley to die? Of course I don't. Well... <laughs> oh. What? That's like the third time that lady's won on a machine I was playing. Oh, I'll bet she's one of those people. <laughs> Mall people? <laughs> what? No, no, a lurker. Oh, what's a lurker? Okay, when you're playing a machine and it hasn't paid out, a lurker waits for you to give up and then... Kills you? <laughs> no, they swoop in and steal your jackpot. Oh. Mm hmm How do you know about this? My nana used to do it. Ernie. Hi, Bert. You still have that banana in your ear. What? I said you still have that banana in your ear. Yeah, Bert, I know. You know? Ernie, why is that banana still in your ear? Listen, Bert. I use this banana to keep the alligators away. Alligators? Ernie, mm -hmm. there are no alligators on Sesame Street. Right. It's doing a good job, isn't it, Bert? Oh, oh, oh.